What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today is an app review called FlySmart. Now FlySmart is basically an application that allows you to track down any flight. So that way you get notifications pop up whether they landed, whether they arrived early, whether they're delayed, etc. Now with FlySmart, you're able to do this with any flight of course, whether it's a domestic flight or an international flight. This is good for when man, you just bought a ticket for your mom, for example, and you guys per live a uh, long distance and she wants to fly over to your home state to visit you. Well, you can track down this flight to make sure everything is a-okay. And if everything is not okay, then you, know, you are notified that. So, the way the notifications work on this uh, application is that you have the badges of course uh, as part of some of your notifications but what you also have is the alerts and then the sounds so that's a plus so that way you're aware of what right away whether your phone is locked or whether well, or whether you're doing something for example so uh, let's take a look at the user interface right here now of course you do have to be connected to the internet for this so with iPhones, you don't have to worry about it because you have cellular data connection. But with iPod Touches and the Wi-Fi iPads, you're going to have to use Wi-Fi like I'm using right here on this non-activated on a mobile plan phone. So here is the user interface. Uh, let's take a look at this little i button right here. Okay, and this is basically just the terms and conditions. You know, we don't want to read all that. As you can see, that is too much to read. Uh, especially for me, okay. Fly smart, explore an airport. Now this allows you to pick any airport that you want to know more information about. Now please no, not every airport is listed on here. For example, some of the airports in small cities might not be in here. Uh, like for example, Hartford Bradley International Airport that is not here. However, I was able to find mostly the big city airports so for example this is Beijing PEK Beijing Capital Airport for those of you that are wondering what that is uh, Chicago Cincinnati they do have some of the small towns right here but oh sorry about that the the camera just moved itself alright so like for example you just saw Cincinnati you know you got some small cities right here but you also have the major big cities which is really important if you're doing a lot of international traveling so for example I know one airport that I use for international flights that I used this year to go to Europe and that was New York JFK Airport so uh, let's say if I wanted to click on JFK Airport right there and what it takes you to is a little bit of description and the history a little bit about the airport itself. So as you can see, it says John F. Kennedy International Airport is the nation's premier domestic and international gateway. There you go. And then you can read most of the information right there. Okay, as you can see, it gives you the current weather that's there right now. And you do have tabs right here. So you have about JFK, which is where we're at right now. Then we have getting to the airport. And getting to the airport, it's pretty much um, like uh, you're basically trying to know how to get there or maybe just trying to get to know your way around the airport so for example did you know blah 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 and you can have directions to JFK or to an airline directory so if you want to directions to JFK you basically just get the directions to go to the airport and then airline directory uh, you, you can just select uh, whichever airline you want and it'll give you the terminal number at what terminal they're at okay and then of course you have transportation and parking so this can take you to uh, other parking facilities if or car service or rental cars so for example we look at parking it'll give you a, a list of parking facilities that you can go to so that way you can park your car right there in case that you were to leave it for two full weeks. Now, one of the things that I do want you guys to be aware about is that it seems like 
not every parking facility is listed here. And because, for example, well, when I went to Europe this year, uh, I we parked our car at a parking facility for the two full weeks that we were going to be gone. And the parking facility that we parked our car at is called Smart Park JFK. So, and I could not find that in here. So just be aware that not all the uh, the parking facilities will be listed on here. Okay, so we have in the airport tab right here, and it just basically gives you the list of terminals. Okay, so in this case there are eight terminals. I don't know why it's doing that. And the eight's getting cut off there. Okay, and then it'll just gives you all the points of interest that are in the terminal, so in this case restaurants, um, shops, whatever, okay, and then we have leaving the airport right here, leaving the airport, okay, so you have directions to go from JFK back to your house if you want to do it that way, and parking, shuttle bus, whatever, okay, and then we can just click the home tab to get back to the home page. Now let's go to find the flight. Okay, and today is August 22nd, 2012, so what I'm going to do is select the departing airport. Okay, let's do, let's go to L. And we'll do London. So Heathrow Airport right there. So this is Heathrow Airport. This is actually the airport I used to go home back to New York, JFK. And something weird just happened. So I selected the departing airport. Hmm. Didn't do this before. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened there. It must have been some sort of glitch. Now I'm going to select our arriving airport. And we'll do New York. So New York JFK, where is it? New York JFK. Sorry if I'm missing anything. <laughs> okay. And now it should give you some search results. Now the first time I did this, it didn't give me any search results at all. What I actually had to do was enter the actual flight number, and you can do that too. You do know, you know your flight number. Okay, so as you can see, it gives you some information on some of the flights right here. So for example, you see some of the flights that have already landed, okay, and what time it departed, and what time it arrived, okay. And then it'll give you some information on whether the, the planes are still in the air or maybe it arrived early, or maybe it's delayed, like these are delayed. And then this is on time, as you can see right there. So the ones that are on time, then they're gonna you know, catch the flight on time and then aren't gonna ruin their schedule. So I can't demonstrate uh, a, a flight right now because some of them um, are already landed, some of them are on time, and then some of them are delayed. Otherwise, I would have been able to show you guys how to uh, how the notifications pop up and work. Uh, but what I'm gonna do right now is now I'll just throw in a little picture right here, and then let you guys kind of see what it'll look like if you were to just leave this app off on your phone, and then you you just let it sit there and have the notification pop up whenever it's delayed, whenever it's uh, you know etc. Alright, overall, what do I have to say about this application? Uh, this is a great application, so that way you can stay updated with your flight. So whether you are picking someone up, or whether uh, you are actually on the flight itself, or maybe you're about to board it, then you'll know on time whether it's delayed, on time, or if 
yeah, it arrives early. Now, the one thing that I would have liked about this app is that I wish it did had a flight map. So, for example, as you guys saw in one of my Ben's Tech Advice episodes, um, I showed you guys how you can track your flight uh, using your computer by just going onto JFK Airport's website, and I showed you uh, guys that uh, you can use a flight map so that way you're able to see okay where's the plane at exactly like that's what I really uh, would have liked so that way I can get an idea of how uh, how cold it is in that environment so that way maybe if I just booked a flight for somebody and they can't be in a cold environment then I'll know uh, which flight I can pick and I can see the flight map on how uh, they're gonna be flying it like where they're gonna be flying it to so that way it, they'll arrive at the destination safely. That way, I can give some heads up on whether they need to wear a heavy jacket or a light jacket. It's fine, or they don't have to do anything. I don't know. That's just um, my sense of humor. You guys probably don't have to do that. <laughs> Uh, but overall, this is a great application, and this is actually a free download in the App Store. There will be a download link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now, and take care.